create conceptual framework in Microsoft Word. In this video, you will learn how you can easily create conceptual framework in Microsoft Word. What is a conceptual framework? A conceptual framework shows the expected relationship between your variables. It defines the relevant objectives for your research process and maps out how they come together to draw coherent conclusions. Developing a conceptual framework in research. A conceptual framework is a representation of the relationship you expected to see between your variables or the characteristics or properties that you want to study. Conceptual frameworks can be written and are generally developed based on a literature review of existing studies about your topic. Let us now develop a conceptual framework in Microsoft Word. So let's get started. Open your Word document. For example, our research topic is the impact of social media usage on academic performance among college students. In this research topic, you want to investigate how social media usage affects academic performance in college students. We will use shapes to represent variables. Go to Insert tab, click on Shapes, choose Rectangle Shape. Researchers commonly use rectangle shape to represent variables. Draw rectangle shape. Adjust the shape. Now insert the name of variable inside the shape. Right click on the shape. Choose add text. Now write the name. I will write social media usage. Edit the text, like make it large, bold it. It is the independent variable, it comes first. Now is the turn for dependent variable. Copy the shape, paste it. Adjust the shape. Now write academic performance. It is dependent variable. I will draw a line between independent variable and dependent variable to show its relation. This conceptual framework example also includes a mediating variable that is study habits which may explain how social media usage affects academic performance. Mediating variable comes between independent and dependent variable. I will draw a rectangle here. That will be mediating variable. Insert name. Study habits. Study habits can act as a mechanism through which social media usage influences academic outcomes. Moderator comes between independent and dependent variable. Now I will add moderating variable. Draw a rectangle. Insert name. Self-discipline. Self-discipline may influence the relationship between social media usage and study habits. Draw a line to show its relation. I will draw lines to connect independent and dependent variable.
I will write conceptual framework. In this conceptual framework, social media usage is the independent variable. Academic performance is the dependent variable. Study habits is the mediator. Self-discipline is the moderator. In this way, you can easily draw conceptual framework in Microsoft Word document. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thank you for watching this video.